Hi everyone, it's Eve again. It's the 7th of March today. I've done a whole week of these, I'm so proud. Today I'm going to be reviewing Clara's um, album Immunity. It came out in 2019, I believe. Actually, maybe earlier. I think it's 2019. So I had heard Bags and Sophia, the two songs I had heard from this album before listening to it. I'm aware of who she is. I think I follow her on Twitter. Um, she's a bedroom pop artist, like a lo-fi artist, right? Um, and there's been a bit of a controversy over her being an industry plant and having family in the industry. You know, funnily enough, this isn't like a <laughs> uncommon complaint, right? It's not to say it's not a valid complaint, you know, when people have like family in the industry and they sort of get in places where, you know, perhaps other people wouldn't. On the other hand, I kind of feel like as long as the music's good, I don't really care that much. I'm a pretty liberal person and I like to think of equality and I think it's, it's unjust for the advantages but at the same time I don't care that much to be quite frank. But that's out of the way. I did read on Wikipedia as well that she quotes Winston the Nightway by The Shins as her like album that started her music quest and Winston the Nightway by The Shins is like my all-time favourite album. I'm not even joking. And I think you can hear James Mercer's lyricism very clearly in her songwriting. So I was interested, I was intrigued. I liked the two songs I'd heard and James Mercer, like, I'm sold. Play me this album. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is a sort of a lo-fi bedroom pop album. Um, it's very chilled out, it's nice. Um, lots of nice songwriting. Claire's got a really nice voice. Um, it's very soothing and soft. I do like the sort of bedroom production sort of sound, like the in it, the production's good. Um, it does feel more polished than perhaps um, I would expect from someone making an album in their bedroom, but obviously that's probably intentional because I don't think this album was actually made in the bedroom. But I could be wrong, I haven't really looked at it all fully. I like a little bit of research before these reviews, by the way. I don't like you going all in and finding everything out because I think that defeats the point. If I'm honest, I still feel like Bags is the best song on this album and that's the one I'd heard first. Um, I really like that song, I think it's a fantastic song. It really reminds me of Haim actually, a lot of it. It's got a very sort of nice backbeat, um, yeah. I wish I could write a song like that song, I think it's fantastic. Especially considering that Clara seems quite, seems quite young as well, like she seems to be quite... I feel like she could develop into something really cool. There's something to be said a lot about these like sort of young female artists. Um, I kind of lord started. I mean, I watch a lot of Todd in the Shadows and he alludes to this all the time, but there was a bit of influx in sort of young female bedroom artists. And male bedroom artists too, but particularly the female ones, I feel they sound a little bit the same. I think if I'm honest, Clara has really got to sort of try and push herself to stand out because I really like this album, it's really nice, it's got some great songs, good, she's, she's a good songwriter, but she needs to do something, I don't know, a bit more out there I think for her to stand out long term. I'm being judgmental against somebody against an entire scene so that isn't really fair of me to say. This album is a good debut album though like I really appreciate for what it is. Um, listen to it again yes probably would as I said I'd probably playlist a bunch of the songs. I wouldn't say I'd listen to this album and really think about it though this is the kind of album I'd put in the background once I'm cooking something. Right, it's not really an album I dance to or anything. There are some like upbeat songs on it, but it's it's very background noise for me. But yeah, I kind of feel maybe this album would be a little bit dull for some listeners too, and perhaps unrelatable to some listeners. It's very much a sort of like the life of a young woman, right? But there you go. This is a good album. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm interested to see what she does next. She's still quite a new artist, I guess, isn't she? So yeah, cool. Thank you for watching, as always.